Hey, it's me, Dr. Burton Bradbury here at Advanced Veterinary Care, and this little short video is out there for the doctors. I've been asked about diagnosing a torn cruciate ligament uh, using both a drawer technique or what I prefer to use as a tibial thrust. And so these videos are going to be pretty short, uh, pretty concise, but they'll be easy for you as veterinarians to get on there, click, and see how to do it. All right? Thanks. All right, so this dog is not anesthetized, and we're going to show you the difference. If we try to draw here, you might see a little bit of movement there, but kind of hard because the dog is very tight and tense. However, if we come here with thrust and see that I keep the leg in a normal straight walking position, I'm lined up. Look at that. There should not be that movement. I should be pushing really hard and getting no movement at all. Instead, as I push up, what you don't want to do is do this right here, but you hear that pop. Right there, just push the toe up, and you'll see it go up, just like that. Okay, so again, here we are with the patient, not anesthetized. If we try to do the drawer motion, we can get a little bit of movement there. However, if we stretch this out straight and have my finger over the tibia and I push up, hear that? Pretty obvious. So this right here is the distal part of the femur. This is the proximal part of the tibia. The cruciate ligament hangs out in an area like this. And so there's a couple different ways to figure it out. One is to try to do a drawer motion. Put your fingers on like this, and you're gonna move it back and forth. And you see how it wiggles and moves? Great. Sometimes that doesn't work for a big dog as well. So we do another thing called tibial thrust, and that's where we put our, we straighten out the leg, we put our finger here at the tibial tuberosity, and then we push upwards. As you can see, this moves forward. Should not move forward if the cruciate ligament was intact. Here on the other leg that, that the cruciate ligament is intact, I can push as hard as I want, and I get very little movement, but not really much on my finger right here. Again, this right here, you can see, this is a full tear. Very easy, takes no effort at all. Performing drawer motion on a sedated or anesthetized patient is usually the way to go. However, I prefer tibial thrust because you can do it while they're awake. The key though is to keep this leg in normal weight bearing position and push the tarsus upwards while putting your finger over the tibia. As you can see on this leg right here where the cruciate's not torn, it doesn't go up. On the cruciate that is torn, it moves quite a bit.